Should sellers consider offers from VA and FHA buyers? Let's talk about it. All right, so uh, National Association of Realtors recently came out with an article about how more and more sellers and listing agents are discriminating against the VA buyers and FHA buyers. So first of all, what are we talking about? Well, VA is Veterans Affairs, so it's military. What's great is you don't have to have as high credit score, but more importantly, you can put zero down. I've had multiple clients do the VA program. It's a great cash on cash return, right? Because you're putting way less down. Um, but yeah, that's the idea with the VA. It's essentially zero down, um, Not there's no PMI, private mortgage insurance, it's a great program for those that fought for our country. The second one is the FHA. That's one's much more popular, it's more common. You only have to have a 580 credit score. You can have a little bit more in debt, just like the VA. Um, you can actually have 55% debt to income ratio. Uh, and you can put as little as 3.5% down. So the problem is a lot of listing agents who are frankly idiots, I'll say it, um, are telling their sellers that if they get multiple offers and they get those types of buyers, they should immediately ignore them, that they're not great buyers. Here's the deal. First of all, nobody cares. If you're concerned that they can't afford the payments, they were actually pre-approved prior to submitting the offer. And once the home closes, you, the seller, collect your cash and you move on. It becomes their responsibility. So it's not up to you to decide what they can and can't afford. That's on them and between them and their lender. The second thing is, as I just mentioned, it's all the same cash. It makes no difference, right? If someone's doing 5% down, 10% down, even 99% down, as long as they have a loan contingency, they can still back out for any reason. Just because someone's putting 20% down doesn't make them more qualified. They might actually have to do the 20% down in order to qualify. You never know. The other thing to keep in mind is it kind of sucks when you want to discriminate like that. Why? Because think about oftentimes who those types of buyers are, especially on the FHA side. It's, there's been multiple reports coming out that it's related to minorities, um, those who have been trying to get into the housing game. And here are uneducated listing agents, uneducated realtors, and uneducated sellers, which no knock on the sellers, they didn't know. They don't do this day in, day out. But you're, you're basically saying, hey, look, I understand you can buy this, but I'm not gonna do it. They're not even giving them the time of day. Now, some might argue that there are other little nuances with these programs, but the nuances are things like having to have smoke detectors, right? Making sure the hot water heater shut. Stuff that typically the seller handles anyways. It makes no difference. Um, now, of course, if you're looking at condos or townhouses, that's a different world because they require uh, the HOA to be in a certain health um, financially. And, you know, I'd be looking at how many units are being rented out. There's a little more nuances there. So we're talking more about the single family and multifamily space. So the reality is if you're thinking about selling your home and you're concerned about these VA and FHA buyers, you really shouldn't. What you need to do is ask your realtor to call the buyer's loan officer and have that heart to heart. Have they verified their income? Have they verified their debt? Have they verified their credit score? If all that stuff's done, then away you go. You are you might as well just keep going. You get to help out a potentially first time home buyer and you're good. Now, by way of example, I did the FHA 203K loan, the construction loan. My time fiance, now wife, we both had good credit. We didn't have a lot of debt. It was just the best program for what we needed. I have clients, great credit. They went with the VA loan, so they didn't have to put as much money down. One of which is a house hacker. So he did zero down on a house with an ADU and rents out the ADU. That's like a 100% cash on <laughs> cash return. It's infinite because he didn't put that much down. I think even with the down, um, closing costs and all that, he comes out to like a 30% ROI, which is amazing. So these are great programs for buyers to consider. And as a seller, you should not be concerned. Just ask the right questions. Love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. Don't forget to share this with all your friends and family. And of course, if you need anything, I'm here for you. You guys have a great day.